What is going on guys, it's Crazy Pickle. So with another Skyforge video for the next episode for the Ultimate Beginner's Guide. Um, the one thing I want to say before I start, <clears throat> I've been sick for a few days, I'm kind of still is sick. Uh, you probably can't hear in my voice, uh, but I'm trying to get back on track. So this is the next episode for the Ultimate Beginner's Guide. And in this episode, I want to talk about more on a few things that you might focus on after you got your God form. So, <clears throat> sorry, in the previous video, I was talking about explaining the lab, the Flavius's laboratory. So it's a pretty good place to actually get some uh, like bonuses to your damage, to your health and stuff like that. So because the nodes are giving you some of the stuff that actually... Uh, benefits your character, not just the node specifically against an army like demons. Uh, let's say, for example, this one: the uh, damage taken from the demons is reduced by three percent. The nodes like all damage is increased, uh, maximum health is increased. So all those nodes from each invasion will definitely gonna help you out. Um, in the beginning, it will boost your damage, will boost your health and stuff like that. You're still not gonna be super strong. You're not gonna still kill everything fast, but at least something that would help you out just a little bit but that's not going to be the first thing that you're going to have to do it after you got your god form the first thing that i would suggest for you is to get your full set of purple um, equipment so this is the three map operation isabella operation media and operation Ophelia, which uh, um rin amulet ruby and sapphire emerald and topaz so First of all, you're not going to be able to do it on your own, it's 100%, so you have to ask the people to go with you, to help you out with that. So you pretty much, you don't have a choice in any way. Um, you still have to ask for help, you still have to do a lot of missions, uh, for example, like directives right here, some of the missions, you still have to do it with someone. Uh, maybe squads, some mission you possibly gonna be able to do it, but as far as I hear, there are a lot of people who, you know, like DMing me in Discord or leaving the comments under the video, they're saying they still even can't do the squad even on a, on a warm-up um, difficulty. So you might still have to always ask people to go with you, you know, maybe you have similar directives and stuff like that, and then just to, to do the missions, but the very first thing you have to ask, and if you're not in the Pantheon, please join the Pantheon. It's gonna be way much easier to find people for it. There's a lot of people who, you know, they're trying to help new players. Maybe, you know, it's, it's not a lot. Maybe not everyone can help everyone, but I'm pretty sure you will find the people who will willing to help you out with that, you know, because they understand that the community in Skyforge not that big at the moment. So, and some of people will definitely try to help if they do have time, if they're not busy doing anything else. So, this is first three missions you have to do to get your full well not it's almost full it's like 75% of your gear and of course the other two maps it would be let me open this one it's gonna be the um, Targo Island which will give you the brooch and Tarlin Aquafire which will give you the bracelet so that way you will get your full uh, full set of gear whatever generation you're in so I'm not I don't remember the generation for consoles but since you're gonna do that on a warm-up it's gonna be one generation lower the maximum generation that the platform is on right now for example in P on PC right now we are generation 22 so if I'll do this mission on the warm-up it's gonna be generation 21 so it still give you some kind of a boost because all the gear right now is has the might and superiority so when i did the video talk about it about the might superiority in some stats maybe not, when i watched it again maybe not as the way i explain it maybe not as um kind of like deep dive into the stuff like that i think it's more of a general things but it's pretty much you can see that the might is all your power pretty much uh the stat is definitely help you out a lot uh but again the might is a kind of a more of a priority right now i guess but if you combine that with a uh, secondary stat, the key stats and secondary stats, they're definitely going to be more effective to kill enemies faster and maybe die, not die as fast as maybe you, you, it happens right now. 
So, but again, keep in mind that the brooch, there is a possibility for you to get the purple and the bracelet, there is a possibility as well. So I got the blue one, I didn't get the full purple set, but you get an idea. So you have to get the full set first. Don't worry about any integrity upgrading. Um, the key, only kind of keep an eye on the stats because if you get multiple items, let's say you got two rings from the from the run and just keep see what's the stats you have on the on your uh, on the ring so let's say if it has like a main damage critical damage something like that like um damage to elite maybe uh, even sometimes general defense if it's there it will help a lot as well so but critical chance main damage bonus critical damage bonus uh, damage to elite, uh, maybe general defense, uh, and the uh, armor fracture would help. This is for the key stats. And the secondary stats would be like damage when combat starts. Um, like some some of this, I don't want to go into it a lot, but just kind of uh, give you an idea for what stats you might have to look that you get some kind of a more bonus. Let's say this one right here, damage from symbols, dim, uh, divine weapon, cooldown, barrier, uh, ritual killing, mobility when wounded, kind of, it, it's just pretty much, it sucks for me. So I need something like right here, damage to elite, general defense, work for now, uh, at least give me some kind of a defense, then damage when combat starts, de defense after healing, so definitely works as well. Every time you pick up the healing orb or heal yourself somehow, it will give you some kind of a defense on that as well. So that's about the um, gear. The next one, definitely you're gonna have to get the better weapon. So you you also have to go and complete the mission called Haspelon Temple <clears throat> to get the at least the blue weapon. So the purple weapon give, gives uh, you can get from different places, but it's probably gonna be a little bit later in the game. Maybe when you can do some other missions or the content. Or maybe you're just gonna get carried through some content and then you can get the purple weapon. <clears throat> Usually you can get the purple weapon from special troops in invasion missions. For example, if I'll open directives right here, lend in a hand its invasion mission, or if I'll open the adventure list and I'll go to invasion tab, this is all the invasion missions. And you can get the purple weapon uh, from the special troops. It's also a chance, not 100%, it's pretty much a low, very low chance to get a purple weapon and you can get, um, you get the weapon on the class you're currently on, so just make sure you play in the class you want to get weapon for, but keep in mind that you're not also getting the weapons from the special troops, but also the artifacts as well, which might work as well for you. You might not get a weapon, but you may get the better artifact, so that's another thing you have to get for it. And I will definitely try to talk about in the future videos about what may be the weapons and artifacts you might gonna have to focus on the beginning that will definitely help you out um, kind of in the beginning stage while you're still progressing and then you're not strong enough and stuff like that. So that's the first thing you have to do. The second thing what you need to do is also focusing on your directives, especially on the missions that have special military development projects, uh, the missionary assignments, which is increasing the number of followers in your cathedral, then the scientific development project increases the rank of the Tower of Knowledge, and the military is for the stronghold, and maybe missions like the Spark of Transformation. So definitely, you know, this is the this is what we call it a catch-up system in place because you're very low uh, compared to the current invasion. So this is the, why they invented the catch-up system that will help you out to progress faster uh, on the uh, Cathedral Tower of Knowledge stronghold and get the, a lot of Spark of Transformation. Spark of Transformation you will get a lot, uh, I believe, a lot that because you don't have all the classes unlocked so that's that and of course the divine deeds because you have a god form and there's the uh, divine deed uh, temple of deeds where you progress and get upgrades some of the upgrades for the god some of the upgrades ex uh, specifically for your character some of the upgrades for other things as well but definitely i'll talk about that in a future videos temple of deeds and maybe i'll try to include the what you need to maybe upgrade first in the same video just explain it real quick what's the uh, what's the temp what's the temple about and stuff like that and then just say okay maybe you have to focus on this 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 and this so i will see i will try to i will still working on that but again 
directives only for the missions that have the items for the catch-up system because that would be your main priority as well because you don't want to spend credits on your cathedral right now you have to save credits for the future same as knowledge of enemies you have to save that and use the catch-up system just to upgrade these three buildings and this one of course so that's another priority that you gonna have to focus on and again all these missions you're definitely gonna have to do with someone if you have a friend great if you maybe you progressing together great you know uh see what you know ask other people who can help you out join a pantheon if you're not in a pantheon yet it's going to be way much easier for you to find people who can help you out maybe have the same missions and they may be even stronger than you that they can do something you know and you're just gonna kind of come uh, be for uh, alone for a ride with them so uh that's for that part the next one is definitely focus on progressing in a Flavius's laboratory. Like I said, uh, the current invasion right now is demons, so that might be going to be a little bit tough to do because you actually have to do missions. So if I'll open the quest tab and I'll go to Flavius laboratory, so this is mission from the demon invasion. So it's the ab um, abandoned Fort Garun, and I believe um, it's special threat. So these two missions, it's from the demon tab. When I, when I receive the quest. The Phytonites, Reapers, Oceanites, Gorgonites, Mechanoids. This is inactive. Those are invasions are inactive right now. The only simple way to upgrade that way, and it's very simple. Like I said before in the previous video, I believe I did say that. You only have to kill, like, eliminate the Oceanites, any unit of the army. When this number right here reached 100%, you can go back to your Flavius Laboratory Oceanites and then instead of the quest list button it's gonna be the learn um, the learn symbol or something like that so you click that then receive quest again and just keep focusing on it the one thing you can do simply I believe I said in a previous video as well simply go to region and find the enemy like say Oceanites the Herdon Temple there is a bunch of ocean Oceanites there go and just keep killing them Keep killing them, get 100% each time, learn new symbols in the Flavius Laboratory. Upgrade your inactive um, invasion tabs in your laboratory first. And then, you know, because you're going to definitely going to do some missions for the Flavius Laboratory for the current invasion. Because it's going to be in your directives anyway. Or at least at some point. So, but... The inactive invasion is definitely going to be way easier to learn and just upgrade it fast. If you want to do that first before you get your gear, go ahead and do it. But I mean, you can get the gear first, get a little bit stronger and just kill everything fast in the regions. Because regions are very weak, so that's going to be way much easier with a better gear and a better weapon. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be your focus for now. Let's just recap. So the first, you're going to get your gear gonna get from the Isabella Medea Ophelia then you're gonna go to the group you're gonna do the Targo Island on a warm-up Tarlin Aquafire on a warm-up definitely ask for help because you're not gonna be able to do it on your own then I would go for the second part do the laboratory do the laboratory when you finished or well, let's say it depends how many hours you can spend focus as many hours as you can so the next time is your directives with the catch-up system items in it. Uh, military development, divine deeds, uh, scientific development, missionary assignment, maybe sparks if you wanted to. But definitely on those you're gonna have to focus on. To keep progressing in your cathedral, knowledge and stronghold without using any of your resources. Whatever credits you get, whatever knowledge of enemies you get, whatever stronghold resources you get, keep it, save it. Just be patient. It's a, it takes time. Yeah, Skyforge is a crazy game. It takes time and a lot of patience to actually progress it. But like I said, catch-up system, use just that. The next one is... I already forgot what I was talking about. So I said about the gear. I said about the Flavius Laboratory. I said about the directives. And... I guess I can just include the regions as well, because the regions you can definitely you can do just quests there, and there is a first reward for the completion of the entire uh, region, which is 2,000 knowledge here, 
10,000 knowledge here. This is not here. Uh, th those are, don't worry about Thea and Antian Wasteland anyway. And then 40,000 here. 20, that kid. So you get an idea. You get the kind of what? First clear reward by completing all the quests in the regions. So, and of course, the quest will, will be marked. If you need to talk to some NPC, it will definitely show you on the map and stuff like that. So, this is how you get a lot of knowledge of enemies from it and definitely keep them. Use your catch up system to upgrade all those three buildings. And I guess another part I can include don't forget to receive the quest from the bastions to keep um, upgrading your symbols. I think I said that in uh, one of the videos which symbols you might have to kind of focus on specifically for like DPS setup and stuff, but if I, but I have to remember which one it is, I don't already remember which one, but I'm pretty sure I was talking about it. I think I was talking about the bastions and this is where I said which symbols you need to uh, kind of focus on to get them first and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, um, just just again, quick, quick thing. Get the purple f full set of purple gear, upgrade inactive invasion tabs in your Flavius laboratory, in directive focus on the catch-up system items to get them in order to upgrade your three buildings, knowledge, uh, tower, cathedral, and stronghold. Uh, run directives, I mean, not the directives, run the regions to get the first clear uh, for the region to get those shit tons of knowledge of enemies. And bastions, keep receiving quests if you complete any quests, keep receiving quests back to get the symbols you need. And that would be all for this video, guys. If you still have any questions, you know, leave a comments down below, I will respond as soon as I can. And I will see you definitely in the next episode, and I'm not sure which one it's going to be yet, but I will definitely be working on the next episode, still trying to figure out which one I will put. So, and again, don't forget to subscribe, activate notification that you won't miss new video I post. Follow me on Twitter, Mixer, and join my Discord server. All the links you can find in the description, and until the next time, take care.